All right, hello, wine drinking people. Today is Friday, the 6th of May. Wow, I just finished our Cinco de May, Cinco de Mayo celebration with Shatnuff to pop last evening. And uh, we got a short week next week. Let me tell you, two events is a short week for us here at Wine Watch. Usually we have three or four events, but when it's May, you know the Brunello de Montalcino new release tasting is not very far away because uh, every year we host a tasting with the greatest expression of Sangiovese on earth, Brunello de Montalcino. And this is a wine that's held back for five years by law. So even in a not so great vintage, you still need to keep Brunello for several years after the release until it's at its peak age of drinkability. The 2010s, the last release, a very highly touted vintage, and we've got the 2010 Reservas, which are released by law a year after the regulars, in for this tasting. Some stunningly good wines like the Val de Cava Madonna del Piano, one of my favorite Brunellos. Hey, this was the top wine at our vintage Brunello tasting, the 2001 vintage, just a, a month or so ago. So, you know, we've got our regular lineup, Val de Cava, which didn't make a 2011. What does that say? Not a good sign for the 2011 vintage. Um, even though there are some highlights in 2011, it was a hot year. Some of the wines approaching 15 and a half percent alcohol. Hoo Don't hate me because I'm alcoholic. That's why you're drinking me. But with Sangiovese, this is like Pinot. And to me, uh, these lighter, more elegant red grapes don't do well with really high alcohol. So 2011, uh, these are wines you may want to drink on the young side. I don't know how well they're going to age, but hey, that's why we do these events. We're doing scientific work here at the Wine Watch, so you are wine drinking people. We're the first people in South Florida to taste a cross section of the latest release from Montalcino. And you know, like I said, there are going to be some highlights from every vintage 2010 Reservas. A lot of highlights here, man. Across the board, the 2010s, an outstanding vintage in Montalcino. The Reservas, very highly anticipated. And even though some of them scored lower than their regular counterparts, I can assure you these are going to be special wines. So check it out. Everything we're going to be serving at our 2011 Brunello Montalcino tasting, along with the 2010 Reservas. I'm your host, Andrew Lampassoni, signing off for the Wine Watch, saying remember, always drink the good stuff first.